The 2nd Congressional District of Tennessee is a congressional district in Tennessee. It currently includes the east-central part of the state. The district is based in Knoxville, and is largely coextensive with that city's metropolitan area. It includes most of that city's suburbs. It includes the cities and towns of Alcoa, Bean Station, Dandridge, Farragut, Harrogate, Jefferson City, Jellicoe, Loudoun, Lenoir City, Maryville, Powell, Rutledge and Tazewell. The second is one of the safest districts in the nation for the Republican Party, it is one of the few ancestrally Republican districts in the South. No Democrat has represented the district since 1855, and Republicans or their antecedents have held the district continuously since 1859. It was one of only two districts in Tennessee the other being the neighboring 1st District whose congressman did not resign when Tennessee seceded from the Union prior to the Civil War. Because most of its residents supported the Union over the Confederacy, the people almost immediately identified with the Republicans after hostilities ceased. Much of that sentiment was derived from the region's economic base of small-scale farming, with little or no use for slavery, thus, voters were mostly indifferent or hostile to the concerns of planters and other landed interests farther west in the state, who aligned themselves with the Democratic Party. This loyalty has persisted through good times and bad since then. From the end of Reconstruction through the 1950s, the Republican Party in Tennessee was more or less non-existent outside East Tennessee. However, in the 1960s conservative white Democrats, especially in suburban Memphis and Nashville, began voting for the likes of Barry Goldwater, Howard Baker whose father and stepmother were representatives from the second in the 1950s and 1960s, and Richard Nixon. At bottom, the conservative Democrats in the other Grand Divisions were almost as conservative as Republicans in East Tennessee. Traditional East Tennessee Republicans began welcoming conservative Democrats into their party, and they have worked more or less together as a coalition ever since. A few pockets of Democratic voters exist in the downtown areas of Knoxville, which has occasionally helped elect Democratic mayors and send a few Democrats to the state legislature. However, they are no match for the overwhelming Republican tilt in most of Knoxville itself, as well as the suburban and rural areas, the Knoxville suburbs. Coal miners in the far northern fringe of the district also supported Democrats from the 1930s onward. Much of the coal mining region was drawn into the 4th district after the 1980 census, but was returned to the 2nd after the 2010 census. This district traditionally gives its congressmen very long tenures in Washington. Since 1909, it has had only six congressmen not including caretakers. Before the 1950s, its congressmen were among the few truly senior Republican congressmen from the South. The current congressman is Jimmy Duncan who succeeded his father, 24-year incumbent John Duncan Sr., in a 1988 special election. With the retirement of Jimmy Duncan, the 2018 congressional election saw former Knox County Mayor Tim Burchett get elected receiving 65.94% of the total votes cast. List of representatives Historical district boundaries See also Tennessee's congressional districts List of United States congressional districts